Hi, in this video we're going to roast up some chickens in the stretch smoker oven from Jagged Wood Fired. Hi, I hope you're well wherever you are and you got that thin blue smoke rolling. In this video, I'm going to throw some chickens in the stretch smoker oven from Jagged Wood Fire. I love roasting a chicken. It always comes out succulent and juicy. And let's face it, it's probably a little bit healthier for me too. So what we're going to do today is we're going to grab a couple of chickens, season them up and throw them in the smoker. Let's get stuck into it. Right, so the fire's now lit in the jagged. It's just coming up the temperature, so it's time to prep these chickens. Now you see I've got two here. I've got a nice tray. I've got some paper towel to pad them down with, sharp knife, some uh, butcher's twine, and a set of scissors. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the twine and the scissors to truss these chickens up. There is a right way to do it. I can never remember what it is, so I'm just gonna put it together and we're gonna see how it turns out. Now for seasoning today, we've got some very special rubs here from King and his Q. So we're going to give the chicken rub a go today and we're going to see how we like that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open up these chickens, take them out of the bag. Just careful to try and leave any juice that might be in the bag in the bag. And have a bin handy just to drop them in. Now something I like to do is just to give the chicken a good pat down with a piece of paper towel. I just find it helps to sort of give me a nicer finish on the skin. All right, so they've been pat dry now. It's time to open up this uh, rub from King and his Q. Ooh, smells great. Start with the back. It'll be quite liberal. Now, a chicken's not nice and flat like a brisket, so it can be quite tricky to get a nice even coating, which is one of the reasons we like to try and keep the tray dry, so that we can maybe pick up some of that uh, rub that falls off and put it back on later. Turn the chicken on its side, get a nice even coating there, that's looking good. It's really important too to make sure that you sort of manipulate these legs a little bit, pull them out. Just make sure you get into all the little nooks and crannies there as well. All right, so now the rubs on the chicken nicely, it's time to truss them up. Now I've just got some uh, simple kitchen twine here. Gonna get a nice long piece because we're going to be looping it and wrapping it and double tying it and all sorts of wonderful things. So I like to try and come in under the wings, around the front, loop around the legs, tie it all together. All right, the jagged stretch is now humming along beautifully at 275 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna throw these chickens in there. It's gonna take about three to four hours at 275. So we're gonna pop them in there and then go take care of the rest of the meal. Now I'm putting these chickens on the second rack because if you've watched the previous video, you'll know that the bricks down here get a little bit hotter than the other ones. So we're just gonna pop these chickens up on this top rack, oh sorry, on the middle rack. And as I said before, there's often quite a lot of rub left over on the tray. So you can just very quickly give them a bit of a sprinkle back onto the chicken before you chuck it back in the smoker. See you chickens again in a couple of hours.
Okay, so our chickens are now done and they are looking good. We've got that nice, beautiful brown colouring on the outside. That's from the rub and from the heat that we've applied to it as well. We don't have any black parts, so we've had nice, even heat coming around it. It's been a delicious, slow roast. These have gone for just over three hours, about three and a quarter hours. And we're hitting the safe temperatures in all the different zones. So the rule is 165, stay alive. So anything over 165 and you're in the gold. So we've tried in the breast, we've tried in the drumstick, we've tried in the thigh and they're all at 165 degrees or higher. So, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to get into it. Ooh, this skin is beautifully crunchy. I'm just gonna take off this string. I think I'm gonna have a bit of a drumstick. Oh wow, that is so moist. That skin is super crunchy. Look at that. Beautiful. So the only thing left to do now is have a bite. Mmm. Oh wow. That is tender, that is juicy, it's beautifully cooked all the way through. That is absolutely amazing chicken. So there you have it folks, that is slow roasted chicken in the stretch from Jagged Wood Fired. Now I gotta say, this is some incredible, incredible chicken. And there's nothing left for me to do now but to go have my dinner. So, until next time, take care of each other and keep on queuing.